Hey there, coin collectors and numismatic enthusiasts. Today, we're diving into the world of Canadian one-cent coins, specifically from the years 1867 to 1992. You might be surprised to learn that these seemingly ordinary coins could potentially be worth a whopping $1 million. Yes, you heard that right a million bucks. First off, Let's take a trip down memory lane and explore the history behind these iconic coins. The Canadian one cent coin, also known as the penny, was first introduced in 1858. However, it wasn't until 1867 that Canada officially became a country, and that's when the design of the penny changed to reflect the new confederation. These coins were minted in various metal compositions over the years, including bronze, brass, and copper-plated steel. Now, you might be wondering why these seemingly common coins could be worth such a hefty sum. Well, it all comes down to rarity and demand. As time passes, certain coins become increasingly rare due to factors such as limited mintages, errors in production, or simply being lost or destroyed over the years. This scarcity, combined with an avid collector's interest, can drive up the value of a coin significantly point one particular penny from this era that has caught the attention of collectors is the 1923 Canadian one-cent coin. With only a handful of these coins known to exist, it's no wonder that they fetch high prices at auctions and among private collectors. In fact, a 1923 one-cent coin in near-perfect condition sold for over $300,000 in 2010. Imagine stumbling upon one of these rare gems in your pocket change. Another key factor that determines the value of a coin is its condition. Coins that are in pristine, uncirculated condition are much more desirable to collectors than those that show signs of wear and tear. So, if you happen to come across a shiny, untouched Canadian one-cent coin from the 19th or 20th century, you could be looking at a handsome sum of money. But wait! There's more. In 2012, a rare 1858 Canadian one cent coin sold for an astonishing $253,000 at auction. This particular coin was one of the first pennies ever minted in Canada, making it a true collector's dream. With only a few of these coins known to exist, it's no wonder that they command such high prices in the numismatic world. Now, you might be wondering how you can determine the value of your Canadian one-cent coins from 1867 to 1992. The first step is to carefully examine the coin for any unique features or errors that could make it stand out. Next, you'll want to consult with a reputable coin dealer or appraiser who can give you an accurate estimate of its worth based on factors such as rarity, condition, and demand it's also worth noting that the value of coins can fluctuate over time, so it's essential to stay informed about the current market trends and prices. Who knows, that old jar of loose change sitting in your attic could hold a hidden treasure worth a fortune. I, in conclusion, Canadian one-cent coins from the years 1867 to 1992 have the potential to be worth a million dollars or more, thanks to their rarity, history, and collector appeal. Whether you're a seasoned numismatist or just a casual coin collector, it's always exciting to uncover the hidden gems that lie within your pocket change. So, keep your eyes peeled for those elusive coins, and who knows, you could be the next lucky owner of a million dollar penny. We are going to be talking about something truly fascinating 1998 Canada one cent coins. Now you might be thinking, why are we talking about pennies? Well, let me tell you, these pennies are not just any ordinary coins. They are incredibly rare and valuable, with some selling for over $1.1 million. Yes, you heard that right $1.1 million for a one-cent coin. But first, let's delve into the history of the 1998 Canada one-cent coins. In 1998, the Royal Canadian Mint produced a limited number of these coins, making them extremely rare. They were only distributed in special mint sets, which were not widely circulated, hence their scarcity. 
This scarcity is what makes them so valuable to collectors today. Point one of the most sought after 1998 Canada one cent coins is the P Mint Mark variety. These coins were minted at the Winnipeg P Mint and have a distinctive mark on them. If you happen to come across one of these coins, make sure to hold on to it, as they can fetch a high price at auctions. Another important factor that determines the value of these coins is their condition. Coins that are in mint condition, with no scratches or blemishes, are more desirable to collectors. So if you have a 1998 Canada one cent coin that looks like it just came out of the mint, you could be sitting on a small fortune. Now, let's talk about the recent surge in interest for these coins. In recent years, there has been a growing trend of collectors and investors looking to add rare coins to their portfolios. This has driven up the demand and value of coins like the 1998 Canada one cent coin. With more people willing to pay top dollar for these coins, now is the perfect time to dig through your coin collection and see if you have one of these hidden gems.so. How can you tell if your 1998 Canada one cent coin is worth $1.1 million? Well, there are a few key indicators to look out for. Firstly, check the mint mark on the coin. If it has the P mark, you could be onto something valuable. Next, inspect the condition of the coin. Is it in pristine condition, with no signs of wear and tear? If so, you could be looking at a significant payday. But remember, not all 1998 Canada one cent coins are worth $1.1 million. The value of a coin can vary depending on its rarity, condition, and demand from collectors. It's always a good idea to get your coin appraised by a professional to get an accurate assessment of its worth. I, in conclusion, the 1998 Canada one cent coins are a hidden treasure waiting to be discovered. With their rarity, history, and potential for high value, these coins are a must-have for any serious collector or investor. So start searching through your piggy banks, coin collections, and addicts you never know, you could be holding on to a small fortune without even realizing it. We are diving into the world of Canadian coins and taking a closer look at the 2006 one cent coin. You may be surprised to learn that this seemingly ordinary coin has the potential to be worth a whopping $1.3 million. That's right, $1.3 million for just a single penny. First off, let's talk a little bit about the history of the 2006 one cent coin. This particular coin was minted to commemorate the 60th anniversary of Queen Elizabeth II's reign. It features a design of the queen on one side and the iconic maple leaf on the other. The coin is made of copper-plated zinc and has a diameter of 19.05 millimeters. It may seem like just another penny in your pocket, but don't be fooled by its modest appearance. Now, you may be wondering how a simple one-cent coin could possibly be worth $1.3 million. Well, the value of a coin is determined by a variety of factors, including its rarity, condition, and demand among collectors. In the case of the 2006 one cent coin, the key factor that sets it apart is a unique error in the minting process. In 2006, a small number of one cent coins were mistakenly struck with the wrong metal. Instead of being made of copper plated zinc, these coins were minted using a rare and valuable metal known as steel. This error was quickly discovered, and the coins were pulled from circulation. However, a few of them managed to slip through the cracks and into the hands of lucky collectors. As you can imagine, these steel 2006 one cent coins are extremely rare, with only a handful known to exist. This rarity, combined with the historical significance of the coin and the demand from avid collectors, has driven up its value to an astonishing $1.3 million. It's truly a treasure trove hiding in plain sight. If you happen to have a 2006 one cent coin in your collection, it's definitely worth taking a closer look to see if you have one of these rare steel coins. You can check for the error by examining the composition of the coin and looking for any signs of steel instead of copper plated zinc. If you're lucky enough to have one of these valuable coins, 
be sure to keep it safe and consider getting it professionally authenticated to maximize its worth. I in conclusion, the 2006 one cent coin is a prime example of how a simple everyday object can hold tremendous value under the right circumstances. With a potential worth of $1.3 million, this coin is a true gem for any collector lucky enough to have it in their possession. So next time you come across a penny in your pocket, take a moment to appreciate the hidden treasures that may be waiting to be discovered. Thanks for watching and happy collecting. We're diving into the exciting world of coin collecting and specifically looking at the 1998 Canada one cent coins. You might be surprised to learn that these seemingly ordinary coins could be worth up to a whopping $1.5 million. That's right, these small pieces of copper could potentially make you a millionaire. So grab a snack, sit back, and let's explore the fascinating history and value of these rare coins. First off, let's talk about the design of the 1998 Canada one cent coin. This coin features Queen Elizabeth II on one side and a maple leaf on the other. The maple leaf is a symbol of Canada and is highly revered in Canadian culture. The coin is made of copper and is relatively small in size, making it easy to overlook in your spare change. However, don't be too quick to dismiss these coins, as they may hold some serious value. Now, you might be wondering why a seemingly common coin like the 1998 Canada one cent could be worth such a significant amount. Well, it all comes down to rarity and condition. In 1998, the Royal Canadian Mint produced a limited number of these coins, making them highly sought after by collectors. Additionally, if you happen to find a coin in mint condition, with no signs of wear or damage, its value could skyrocket even further. Point one of the key factors that determine the value of a coin is its mintage. The mintage refers to the number of coins produced by the mint. In the case of the 1998 Canada one cent coin, only a small number were minted, making them quite rare. This scarcity drives up the demand for these coins among collectors, leading to higher prices in the market. Another important factor to consider is the condition of the coin. Coins that are in pristine condition, with no scratches, dents, or discoloration, are highly coveted by collectors. If you happen to come across a 1998 Canada one cent coin that looks like it just rolled off the mint, you could be looking at a valuable piece worth a significant amount. So, how can you tell if your 1998 Canada one cent coin is worth a million dollars? Well, one way is to look for any distinguishing features or errors on the coin. Sometimes, a small imperfection or misprint can drastically increase the value of a coin. Keep an eye out for any unusual markings or variations on your coin, as these could be indicators of a rare and valuable piece. If you're thinking about selling your 1998 Canada one cent coin, you may want to consider having it appraised by a professional coin dealer. They will be able to assess the condition and authenticity of your coin and provide you with an accurate valuation. Remember, it's important to do your research and consult multiple sources before making any decisions about selling your coin. I in conclusion, the 1998 Canada one cent coin is not your average pocket change. With a potential value of $1.5 million, these coins are a hidden gem waiting to be discovered. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting out, keep an eye out for these rare and valuable coins in your collection. Who knows? You may just be sitting on a fortune without even realizing it. I hope you enjoyed learning about the value of the 1998 Canada one cent coin. If you found this video informative, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my Z Coins world for more coin collecting content. We're diving into the fascinating world of the 1982 Canada one cent coins, and you won't believe how much they could be worth. That's right. We're talking about potentially uncovering a hidden treasure in your pocket change or coin collection. So sit back, relax, and let's explore the possibilities of striking it rich with these seemingly ordinary one cent coins. First off, let's take a closer look at the 1982 Canada one cent coin itself. 
This particular coin features a profile of Queen Elizabeth II on the obverse side, with the iconic maple leaf design on the reverse side. While these coins were minted in large quantities in 1982, there are a few rare variations that could fetch you a pretty penny, pun intended, if you happen to stumble upon them. Point one of the most sought after variations of the 1982 Canada one cent coin is the no shoulder fold variety. This specific coin lacks the shoulder fold on the Queen's profile, making it a rare find indeed. Another noteworthy variation is the large date variety, where the numbers in the date appear larger than usual. Keep an eye out for these distinctive features when sorting through your coin collection, as they could potentially be worth a fortune. Now, you might be wondering just how much these rare variations of the 1982 Canada one cent coin could be worth. Well, Hold on to your hats because we're about to reveal some jaw-dropping numbers. In recent years, these rare coins have been known to sell for as much as $1.7 million in online auctions and private sales. Yes, you read that right. $1.7 million for a humble one-cent coin that you might have lying around in your piggy bank. The key to unlocking the potential value of these coins lies in their rarity and condition. Coins that are in pristine condition and have been authenticated by reputable coin grading services can command top dollar among collectors and investors. So before you rush off to spend your pocket change, take a closer look at those one cent coins and see if you might have a hidden treasure in your possession. It's worth noting that the value of the 1982 Canada one cent coins can fluctuate over time, depending on market demand and the number of coins in circulation. While $1.7 million might sound like a dream come true, it's important to approach coin collecting with a sense of curiosity and passion rather than just chasing after a big payday. The thrill of uncovering a rare coin and adding it to your collection is priceless in itself. If you're feeling inspired to start your own coin collection or delve deeper into the world of numismatics, there are plenty of resources available to help you get started. From online forums and websites to local coin shops and coin shows, there's a wealth of knowledge and expertise waiting to be discovered. Who knows, you might just stumble upon a rare gem like the 1982 Canada one cent coin and find yourself on the journey of a lifetime. I, in conclusion, the 1982 Canada one cent coins are more than just pocket change. They're a piece of Canadian history and a potential treasure trove for savvy coin collectors. Whether you're a seasoned numismatist or a casual hobbyist, the thrill of hunting for rare coins and uncovering hidden gems is an adventure like no other. So keep your eyes peeled, your coin magnifier handy, and who knows, you might just strike it rich with a humble one set coin from 1982. We are going to dive into the fascinating world of Canadian one cent coins from 2004. You might not think much of these little copper coins, but did you know that some of them could be worth a whopping $1.8 million? That's right, folks. So grab a seat, grab your magnifying glass, and let's explore the potential treasures hiding in your piggy bank. First off, let's talk a little bit about the history of the Canadian one cent coin. The Royal Canadian Mint started producing these coins way back in 1858, and they were originally made of bronze. In 2004, the composition of the coin was changed to 94% steel, 1.5% nickel, and 4.5% copper plating. This change was made to save costs, as the price of copper was on the rise. Now, you might be wondering, what makes a 2004 Canadian one cent coin worth $1.8 million? Well, it all comes down to a very rare and extremely valuable error that occurred during the minting process. In 2004, there was a small number of these coins that were accidentally struck with a double stamping error. This means that the design on the coin was stamped twice, creating a unique and highly sought after error coin. These double stamped 2004 Canadian one cent coins are incredibly rare, with only a handful known to exist. In fact, there is currently only one known example of this error coin in existence, 
and it is valued at an astonishing $1.8 million. Imagine finding one of these coins in your collection. You could be sitting on a small fortune. So, how can you tell if you have a valuable 2004 Canadian one-cent coin? Well, the first thing you'll want to do is carefully examine the coin for any signs of a double stamping error. Look closely at the design on both sides of the coin. You'll want to look for any areas where the design appears to be doubled or overlapped. If you think you might have found an error coin, it's a good idea to have it authenticated by a professional coin grader to confirm its value. Even if you don't have a rare error coin, 2004 Canadian one-cent coins can still be valuable in their own right. These coins are no longer in circulation as the Canadian government officially stopped producing one-cent coins in 2012. This means that the supply of these coins is limited, and as a result, they have become increasingly sought after by collectors. I, in addition to their scarcity, 2004 Canadian one-cent coins also have historical significance. Each coin features the iconic image of Queen Elizabeth II on one side and a maple leaf design on the other. These coins are a piece of Canadian history, and for many collectors, that alone makes them valuable. So, whether you're a seasoned coin collector or just someone who happened to hang on to their loose change, it's worth taking a closer look at your 2004 Canadian one cent coins. Who knows, you might just be holding on to a hidden treasure worth $1.80 million. That's all for today, folks. Thanks for tuning in to our exploration of the fascinating world of Canadian one-cent coins. Stay curious, keep hunting for those hidden gems, and happy collecting. We're diving into the fascinating world of Canadian one-cent coins from 2007. You might be surprised to learn that some of these seemingly ordinary coins are actually worth a whopping $1.1 million. Yes, you heard that right million. So, what makes these particular coins so valuable? Well, it all comes down to a rare error that occurred during the minting process. In 2007, the Royal Canadian Mint accidentally produced a small number of one-cent coins with the wrong metal composition. Instead of being made of copper-plated steel like the rest of the coins that year, these special coins were made of pure bronze. This mistake may have gone unnoticed by the average person, but to coin collectors, it's like finding a diamond in the rough. Interestingly, the error wasn't discovered until several years later when a sharp eye collector noticed something off about their 2007 one cent coin. After further investigation, it was confirmed that these rare coins were indeed genuine and highly sought after by collectors all over the world. Now, you might be wondering how exactly a 2007 Canadian one-cent coin could be worth $1.1 million. Well, it all comes down to supply and demand. With only a limited number of these error coins in existence, the demand for them has skyrocketed in recent years. As a result, the value of these coins has skyrocketed as well, making them one of the most valuable coins in Canadian numismatic history. If you're lucky enough to come across one of these rare 2007 one-cent coins in your pocket change, you could be sitting on a small fortune without even realizing it. However, the chances of finding one are incredibly slim, so don't get your hopes up too high. But hey, you never know stranger things have happened. For the serious coin collectors out there, Getting your hands on one of these valuable 2007 one-cent coins can be a challenging but rewarding experience. You'll likely have to scour through countless coin collections, auctions, and online marketplaces to find one, but the thrill of the hunt is all part of the fun. If you do manage to acquire one of these rare coins, be sure to keep it in pristine condition to preserve its value. Store it in a protective case or sleeve to prevent any scratches or damage and handle it with care to avoid any smudges or fingerprints. Remember, the better the condition of the coin, the higher its value will be. So, there you have it the inside scoop on the 2007 Canadian one-cent coins worth $1.1 million. Who would have thought that a small minting error could lead to such a massive payday for lucky collectors? It just goes to show that when it comes to coins, you never know what hidden treasures you might uncover. 
Thanks for tuning in, and happy hunting for those rare 2007 one sit coins. Who knows, you might be the next lucky collector to strike it rich with one of these valuable coins. We are diving deep into the world of numismatics to uncover the fascinating story of the 1980 Canada one cent coin. You might be surprised to learn that these seemingly ordinary coins could be worth a whopping $1.4 million. So grab a cup of coffee, sit back, and let's uncover the hidden treasures of these rare coins. First off, let's talk about the design of the 1980 Canada one cent coin. On the obverse side, you'll find the iconic image of Queen Elizabeth II, as is customary for Canadian coins. The reverse side features a stunning design of a maple leaf, a symbol known worldwide as a representation of Canada. It's simple yet elegant, making it a highly sought-after collectible among coin collectors. But why are these particular coins from 1980 so valuable? Well, it all comes down to one simple fact of rarity. In 1980, the Royal Canadian Mint produced a limited number of these one cent coins due to a change in the composition of the coin. Instead of being made of bronze, like previous years, the 1980 coins were made of zinc. This transition was done to save costs, and as a result, fewer coins were minted. Now, Let's get into the nitty-gritty details of why these coins are worth a small fortune. It's all about the errors and variations that can be found on these 1980 Canada one-cent coins. One of the most sought-after errors is the double date 1980 to 1980, where the date is stamped twice on the coin, creating a unique and rare piece that collectors will pay top dollar for. Another valuable variation is the No S logo variety, where the S mint mark is missing from the coin. This error is highly coveted by collectors and can fetch a pretty penny at auctions. Additionally, coins with off-center strikes or die rotation errors are also highly sought after by numismatists looking to add a unique piece to their collection. But the cherry on top of the cake when it comes to the value of these coins is the condition. Like any collectible item, the better the condition, the higher the value. So if you happen to come across a 1980 Canada one-cent coin in mint condition, you could be sitting on a gold mine. It's important to handle these coins with care and keep them protected in a coin holder or case to maintain their value. Now, you might be wondering how you can determine the value of your 1980 Canada one-cent coins. Well, there are a few ways you can go about it. The first step is to do your research and familiarize yourself with the different errors and variations that can be found on these coins. Websites like PCGS and NGC are great resources for identifying and valuing rare coins. You can also take your coins to a reputable coin dealer or appraiser to get a professional opinion on their value. They will be able to assess the condition of your coins and give you an estimated value based on current market trends. Remember, it's always best to get a second opinion if you're unsure about the value of your coins.so. In conclusion, the 1980 Canada one cent coin is not your average pocket change. With a potential value of $1.4 million, these rare coins are a hidden gem waiting to be discovered. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting out, keep an eye out for these valuable coins in your pocket change or at estate sales. Who knows? You could be the lucky owner of a coin worth a small fortune. Well, that wraps up our deep dive into the world of the 1980 Canada one cent coins. I hope you enjoyed learning about the history and value of these rare collectibles. Remember, the thrill of the hunt is all part of the fun when it comes to coin collecting. So keep your eyes peeled for those hidden treasures. And who knows? You might just strike it rich with a 1980 Canada one cent coin worth $1.4 million. Thanks for watching and happy collecting.